Oh yeah, folks, buckle up because the DJI Neo 2 is swooping in to claim the spotlight in 2025 and beyond. If you thought the first Neo was just a neat little beginner-friendly drone, think again. The Neo 2 isn't just an incremental upgrade, it's shaping up to be one of the most exciting leaps for DJI's lightweight drone lineup. Whether you're a first-time flyer, a hobbyist looking to expand your creative toolbox, or even a mid-range enthusiast tired of breaking the bank for flagship models, this drone could be the sweet spot you've been waiting for. And the timing couldn't be better. With the drone market heating up thanks to competitors like Autel, Skydio, and even smaller up-and-coming brands, DJI is making a bold statement. They're still the king of compact aerial tech. The DJI Neo 2 release date is rumored between November 2025 and January 2026, and it's already stirring up massive hype across forums, social media, and among drone reviewers. Why the DJI Neo 2 matters right now. The original DJI Neo filled an important gap. Sitting below the flagship Mavic series and slightly behind the DJI Mini 4 Pro and Mini 5 Pro, the Neo was all about accessibility. It kept things compact and affordable while still packing in enough DJI intelligence to make it an excellent travel buddy. But it wasn't without its limits. Shorter flight time, a smaller battery, and a modest camera kept it from competing with higher tier models. That's where the Neo 2 swoops in. DJI seems to have listened carefully to user feedback, and now they're building something that looks like a true hybrid between portability and performance. Think of it as the Mini's younger cousin who went to the gym and came back ready to flex, DJI. Neo 2, confirmed and rumored specs battery and flight time one of the biggest gripes with the original Neo was flight endurance. At around 18 minutes per charge, you barely had enough time to frame your shots before worrying about a return to home alert. The Neo 2 addresses this directly. Battery upgrade. Jumping from 1435 mAh to 1660 mAh, flight time. Upgraded to around 20-25 minutes depending on conditions. Wind resistance. Level 4 wind resistance makes it much more stable in breezy conditions. Sport mode speed. Topping out at 16 MSI, giving pilots the option for faster, sportier flights. This means the Neo 2 is no longer just a quick backyard flyer. It's now capable of longer exploration flights. Whether you're on a coastal hike, city rooftop, or countryside shoot. Camera upgrades. Pocket-sized cinematic power. The camera is where things get really interesting. DJI has clearly realized that even beginners now expect cinematic footage, not just shaky smartphone quality clips. Enter the one 1.3-inch CMOS sensor, paired with 13.5 stops of dynamic range. That might sound technical, but here's what it means in practice. Crisp 4K at 60 FPS. Perfect for both cinematic and action footage. HDR video with true 10-bit color. More flexibility in post-production and more natural skies, sunsets, and shadows. D-Log M profile, previously reserved for higher-end drones. Giving creators pro-grade control over color grading. AI subject tracking. Likely active track 6.0, which intelligently follows people, cars, pets, or even bikes while maintaining smooth cinematic framing. Rock steady. Plus. Horizon steady stabilization, making shaky, amateur looking footage a thing of the past. In short, the Neo 2 isn't just smart, it's practically a flying film crew in your backpack. Weight and portability. Here's the kicker. DJI seems determined to keep the Neo 2 under the 200 bin feet drain threshold. That's crucial, especially in regions like the US, Canada, and the EU, where drones above 250 grams face stricter registration rules. For many beginners and hobbyists, staying below that limit makes flying way less of a hassle. So far, leaks suggest that DJI is pulling off some engineering wizardry to keep the bigger battery and larger sensor without tipping over that limit. If true, the Neo 2 could be one of the most powerful sub-250G drones ever built. DJI Neo 2, market position. Now how does the Neo 2 fit into DJI's lineup? Let's break it down, DJI Flip. Super casual, ultralight, foldable drone for travelers. Perfect for Instagram and TikTok creators who want something effortless. DJI Neo 2, for mid-range enthusiasts. Balances portability, advanced features, and affordability. Ideal for hobbyists and YouTubers who don't want to spend flagship money. DJI Mini 5 Pro, a more premium compact drone aimed at semi-professionals needing extended features like advanced obstacle avoidance. DJI Mavic 4 Pro, full-fledged flagship, Premium price tag, professional grade everything. So, 
If you're wondering whether to wait for the Neo 2 or grab a Mini 5 Pro, the answer really comes down to budget and priorities. DJI Neo 2 pricing and US concerns leaks suggest the Neo 2 price will start at around 220 Nandar USD, making it incredibly attractive in the entry to mid-tier drone market. But here's where things get tricky. The US has had a rocky relationship with DJI products due to the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. While DJI denies any violations, certain products like the Mini 5 Pro and Mavic 4 Pro have faced customs delays and detentions. If the Neo 2 falls under similar scrutiny, US buyers might face longer waits or limited availability, even if the global launch goes smoothly. That being said, DJI is reportedly diversifying production in Malaysia and Shenzhen, which may help minimize disruptions. DJI Avatar 3. The FPV evolution now. While the Neo 2 is grabbing attention in the beginner to mid-tier, DJI isn't stopping there. The DJI Avatar 3 has also been spotted in leaked footage, and if you're into FPV flying, this is huge. Gone are the chunky orange bumpers from the Avatar 2. DJI has ditched the bulk for a sleeker, sharper, and more aerodynamic body. Think of it as the Avatar 2 hitting the gym. Leaner, meaner, and more balanced. Even the battery placement has been tweaked. By shifting it further back, DJI has improved flight balance while freeing up space at the front for a redesigned camera system. Avatar 3. Camera. A cinematic FPV beast. The biggest rumored change? A full 1-inch CMOS sensor. That's a massive upgrade from the Avatar 2's 1-1.3-inch sensor. For FPV pilots, this means cleaner low-light performance, no more grainy night shots, sharper detail and richer colors. Perfect for cinematic FPV flights, 4K at 120 FPS. Buttery smooth slow motion sequences. If true, the Avatar 3 won't just be an FPV toy, it'll be a serious filmmaking tool. Avatar 3, flight performance flight time. From the Avatar 2's 23 minutes to possibly 30 minutes with new battery tech, motors and aerodynamics, improved speed, agility, and responsiveness. Stabilization. Rocksteady and Horizon Steady already perform well, but the Avatar 3 may even add a mechanical gimbal. Obstacle avoidance. Upgraded to omnidirectional sensors for safer FPV flights in tight spaces. Combine all that with DJI's next-gen 04 transmission system and you're looking at low latency, high quality video feeds that push FPV drones into new territory. DJI in 2025-2026, a landmark era between the Neo 2, the Avatar 3, and ongoing whispers about the DJI Mavic 4 Pro and future mini updates. 2025-2026 is shaping up to be a watershed moment for DJI drones. Here's why. More options for beginners. With the Flip and Neo 2, DJI is making flying accessible to everyone. Professional features at mid-range prices. The Neo 2 gives hobbyists access to tools like 10-bit color, active track, and advanced HDR cinematic. FPV, the avatar. Three could redefine what FPV filmmaking looks like. Global diversification. DJI's shift in manufacturing may stabilize global supply and reduce geopolitical disruptions. Whether you're a casual traveler, a YouTube content creator, or even a professional filmmaker, DJI's 2025 drone lineup ensures there's a model tailored to your exact needs. Final thoughts, so, should you wait for the DJI Neo 2 or go with something like the Mini 5 Pro or Avatar 2 right now? Here's the bottom line. If you value portability, affordability, and cutting edge beginner features, wait for the Neo 2. If you're already leaning toward FPV cinematic flying, the Avatar 3 leaks suggest it could be worth holding out until late 2025. If you need something immediately and can't wait, the Mini 5 Pro remains one of the most balanced compact drones out there. Either way, 2025 isn't just going to be big for DJI, it's going to be historic for drone enthusiasts worldwide.